I have been watching with some interest just to see, you know, if marlin ever comes around again. You know, and I happened to watch a video the other day. Uh, I think it was on, I think the channel name was Gun Blast. But he had a new marlin, an 1895 cowboy, just like what this is, but this is an older one. And he, uh, you know, he claimed they were good again. But I have great reservations that I will for quite some time. I'd also read that Marlin made a, you know, this is 1895 cowboy, but they made an 1895 CB. They made like 300 of them that had a short barrel. It was like an 18 and a half inch barrel. And I think they were a special order from Cabela's or something. And, you know, it would have been interesting to see one of them, and I'll keep my eyes open if something should turn up. But I really wish that they would, you know, could get back to what they were. You know, so many of them, you know, because I wouldn't mind having a gun of this design, you know, because I like the long barrel, I like the octagonal barrel, but I wouldn't mind having one in like a 357, something in the, the pistol calibers, but still, I'd like to have a long barrel. You know, this is the 4570, and I really don't need another one of them, even that 18 and a half inch barrel would be useless to me. I like the long barrel better. But I really like the design of the gun. You know, it's supposedly, you know, when you look on their website, they, they list a bunch of different ones. Though they have the strange habit, I don't know why uh, people do that. They'll make what could be a good gun and then screw it up in some stupid way. You know, like uh, I see a lot of them where it'll be like a 30-30 and then they'll put a built-in rubber butt pad on the back. Well, you know that's going to fall apart. You know, it's a, a soft rubber. Why even put that on if somebody wants, you know, especially a 30 30? If somebody wants one, they can put one on later, but don't make it part of the gun. You know, that just seems silly. But I see it over and over. You know, I, I don't know why they just can't get that right. But uh, until they do, you know, I'm not going to jump on a new Marlin until I, I'm really sure that. Well, I, I won't trust them for a long time. You know, if it doesn't have that JM stamped on the barrel right here, uh, I'm really not interested in it. But I would like to have one in a pistol caliber. You know, I've got a regular carbine and a 22 Magnum. But like I say, something like, I think they make a 32 H&R Magnum carbine too, which would be okay. But there they go and, you know, make a nice looking gun and then put this cheap ass checkering on it. You know, I don't know why they would do that. Leave the damn thing alone. You know, if somebody wants checkering on it, they can put it on later, but once it's on there, you're kind of stuck with it. But I haven't had this out for a while, so I thought I'd take it out and shoot it. Though you kind of limit yourself with these. Because they do tend to, these are the, the high powered loads that I use for hunting. You know, and when you're hunting, it's no big deal. But for plinking, you don't want to do a lot of it. But just an excellent gun. You know, and to, but you know, like on that gun blast thing, evidently they're well, and on the website, they claim they're making them, we're kind of going to make them, but they aren't available, and, and even when they are available, you know, I, I won't trust them for a while. Though, like I say, I don't need another one of these, but such a nice gun. I hate to see them, you know, completely out of production. Well, it makes these old ones more valuable. It just seems a shame. You know, I don't know. 
some of the designs they come up with. Well, I'm glad I got one of these when I did. But they do give you a workout. But they're easy to load for. But like I say, you know, it's just a beautifully made gun. And to just trash them, you know, it seems like, I don't know. But I do like, I like a full length barrel. I don't, uh, it gives you the extra capacity. And on a 4570, it gives you a little more weight, which is nice. Uh, because of the recoil. No, because them short guide guns, they got a bump to them. But I really like this gun. And it's just a shame when you see stuff like that. You know, it just seems unexplainable that you would stop making one of the best guns you've ever made. But I guess it's not my problem, I got one. <laughs>